Previously, we brought you a report on EHAG's expansion plans. We told you EHAG is building out facilities in Italy for the landing and takeoff of its urban air mobility electric aircraft, the EHANG 216. In this video, we bring you an update on EHANG's facilities in China meant for the production of the aircraft. We'll also tell you the reason behind the recent uptick in EHANG's updates to the press. Before we start, here's a quick reminder to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Also, remember to drop your comments below as we'd love to hear from you. EHANG and their 216 electric aircraft EHANG is a Chinese high-tech company that is leading in the autonomous aerial vehicle AAV, industry. They make safe, autonomous, eco-friendly, and electric air mobility products that can be used for passenger transportation, aerial sightseeing, logistics, medical aid, among other applications. Their flagship product is the EHANG 216. It may have futuristic vibes, but we assure you it is a real, electric, passenger-grade airborne vehicle that is in the works. The EHANG 216 is a smart, connected, low-altitude flying machine that you can use to move around the city. It has autonomous flying capabilities, which means you can just relax in it and let it take you to your destination. To ensure your safety, the EHANG communicates with a command center and will land on the nearest available surface in an emergency. The 5.61-meter-long, 1.77-meter-tall, two-passenger EHANG takes off and lands vertically, which means you do not need a runway at all, making it very convenient for use in places where open spaces are limited. The EHANG will fly for 21 minutes on a single charge of the battery, which you can charge to 100% under just an hour, using 220 volts or 380 volts power supply. You can fly at 130 kilometers per hour in this electric machine. The aircraft will cost somewhere between $200,000 and $300,000. It will mostly be used in the air taxi and tourism industry or any other sector where short-distance transport is required. Where will the EHANG 216 be made? Like we mentioned, EHANG is out in Italy building landing and takeoff facilities in Rome, the first of many such planned. They are aptly named vertiports and are said to be modeled after the African baobab tree. At the same time, Ehang is ramping up construction of its production facilities back home in China. The Ehang will be made in the city of Yunfu in the Guangdong province. Yunfu is a city of about 2.6 million people with lots of tourist attractions like the Longshan and Changquan Hot Springs, a perfect backdrop for a factory that will make autonomous aerial vehicles for use in tourism. What Ehang is doing here is actually retrofitting its existing facilities, not building a new one. When Ehang is done, the total floor area will be 24,000 square meters. Ehang wants to start producing the AAV in the second quarter of 2021, which is why the construction process is going on at a fast clip. The Yunfu factory will include an assembly line, a computer numerical control work area, a paint shop, and processing area for carbon fiber composite materials. Other facilities that will be added are a research and training center and a vertiport like the one in Rome for conducting test flights. When fully operational, the facility will produce 600 units per year, with room for further expansion as demand for the EHANG increases globally. As such, this factory will be key to EHANG's expansion plans because this is where all the aircraft will come from. EHANG believes its factory will be the first of its size for mass production of AAVs when it comes online next year. EHANG has existing facilities attached to its headquarters in Guangzhou. It covers 8,750 square meters and is where EHANG makes its products at the moment. After the Yunfu plant is finished, the Guangzhou facilities will be gradually repurposed for research and development for its new products. We will get our first view of the Yunfu factory later in June when Ehang is planning to hold an Investor Day event. The program will feature a tour of the plant. We'll get more details about the event as the date draws closer. But if you want to attend in person, you can make a reservation through the company's website. Background Story you might have noticed a spike in Ehang's PR efforts lately. There's a reason for that, which we'll share with you in this video. Ehang had been quietly doing its work of writing its aircraft and soaking in the media buzz it was creating. We have seen videos and press releases of test flights with live passengers made by the Ehang 216 in different places all over the world. This had catapulted the company to the forefront in the race to make the first mass-produced UAV. Ehang's share price continued to rise as investors took note. 
when a firm named Wolfpack Research out of nowhere came out with a damning report from which the excerpt below is taken. Today we reveal why we believe Ehang Nasdaq EH is an elaborate stock promotion, built on largely fabricated revenues based on sham sales, contracts with a customer who appears to us to be more interested in helping inflate the value of its investment in EH, i.e., pump EH's stock price than actually buying its products. EH has perpetuated its story with a collection of lies about its products, manufacturing, revenues, partnerships, and potential regulatory approval of its purported main business, an autonomous aerial vehicle AAV, ride-sharing network. The firm bluntly recommended investors to short-sell Ehang stock. That sent the stock on a free fall. In a single day of trading, the stock lost 50% of its value, closing at $46.3. That set the company's PR unit into overdrive as they scrambled to deny the allegations in their entirety. The stock has rallied, but it is nowhere near the record high of over $120. This is why we have this update on the massive structure Ehang is building for use in manufacturing its AAVs. It's also why you're invited to come tour the facilities in June. You will be able to ask questions and generally satisfy your earnestness about your money as an investor. How is Ehang doing compared with the competition? Joby has the S4 electric aircraft that can take off and land vertically as well. It can take four passengers, double what the Ehang can take. It is 21 feet long and has a system of six tilting propellers. It can go 150 miles on a single charge, longer than the Ehang, and reach speeds of up to 200 kilometers per hour. It costs $1.3 million, far more than the Ehang. When released, Joby is going to be operating the aircraft, adopting Ehang's business model. The Velocity is another vertically landing and taking off aircraft. It uses 18 propellers to fly at 68 miles per hour tops. Similar to the Ehang 216, flight time on a single charge of the battery is 22 miles, but its battery can be swapped under 5 minutes. Volocopter, who is making the Velocity, is also running a taxi service where passengers will be able to book flights through a mobile app. There are other players in the UAM industry that, by their business model, do not compete directly with Ehang, but out of those with similar models, Ehang looks like the strongest contender to emerge the first with a full-fledged air taxi service with electric aircraft, regardless of what the report by Wolfpack Research says. The pictures and footage released by Ehang so far tell a different story from Wolfpack Research's claims, but as an investor, you need to be cautious about where you put your funds. That would be all from us on Ehang's production facilities in China. It's now your turn to express yourself. Are you confident Ehang will deliver? Will you book a ride in an Ehang when it's available in your city? Which company should Ehang be worried about the most? Our comment section is free for you to use. We would highly appreciate you make some good use of it. Also, don't forget to give us a like and a follow as we have more content that we don't want you to miss. Thanks for watching and see you next time.